Taurus, hello there, my beautiful friends. We're going to do your general tarot reading for mid-July 2024. Thank you so much for joining me today. You know I appreciate each and every single one of you. So let's get right down to business, as always, and start you off with an oracle card here, just so we could dip our toes into energy and see what's happening for the lovely Taurus Collective. Hope you're all doing fabulous and fantastic, my friends. Let's get it going, my guides. Talk to me. What do we got for the Taurus Collective here in mid-July? It's still cancer season. Beautiful time of year, if you ask me. Shuffle it up here one time. What do we got? What energies, messages, insights can we share with our dear friends? And yeah, we're just going to take a real quick look at this first card. Then we'll get into the full reading itself. At the very end, I'll pull you a bonus card from the Shadowland Tarot. Just to see what might be in the shadows or what shadow work you can lean in on, which is always interesting. But let's get it going here. Let's rock and see what we got for Taurus in mid-July. Lots of intense energy is going around, my friends. Especially from what I've been seeing in the other readings. So let's see what you have. Uh, it's lots of fire in the earth signs as well so it's very amped up let's get it going okay so for a lot of you you could have a lot on your mind here this could also be a very creative type of energy as well i feel like there's a lot of positives that could be seen from this very first card and it always gives me a little chuckle when i see it i think it's kind of funny before we fully dive into that though if you're new here i'll be speaking about the july subscriber surprise towards the end so you might want to check that out and also if you could kindly illuminate that like button by tapping it right on its third eye you know i'd greatly appreciate it but enough of the promo into the reading let's talk a little bit more about this card so if you look closely you see this lovely lady with the beehive hairdo and she has all sorts of different implements in her hair and they're creative implements so we have like art artistic tools we have instruments and various different creative pursuits that are like all up in her hairdo so when i see this the very positive aspect of this is a lot of you could be imaginative and creative in this time if you are going through anything like spirit might want you to express your creativity in one form or fashion this is very much water sign type of energy when i see it so any creative pursuit any creative endeavor is highly favored whether you're just blowing off steam or whether it's even like a business thing for yourself you name it you need to express yourself and um, have a release valve for some energy with this here but again since this person literally has all these things like in her hair i say it could be someone with a lot on their mind so there's also this message for a lot of tauruses there might be something you're thinking about quite a bit something you can't stop thinking about or there's a lot of things that are on your mind here and again the prescription is still the same with what we were saying in the beginning with this card like having some sort of release valve for it but yeah there could just be a lot you're thinking about here it could be a little intense but we're gonna put her down right there it could be someone else's energy too but let's see what tarot has and i always say the first card it doesn't make or break the reading it's just a little footnote so let's get you three cards into upright and we'll get into that intuitive juiciness shuffle it up here my beautiful taurus friends please and while we get this deck shuffled up and ready to go Let's talk about last week's reading now. I will tell you this, my friends, the last two weeks for the Taurus Collective, at least from what I've been picking up, felt like a little bit of a bumpy road. Last week's reading was titled An Important Warning, okay? So um, whether it's like the individuals around you or just the energy in general, to me, it felt a little volatile, um, not so Taurus-like to me. So let's see what shows up this week. As you know, energy is very fluid. It's never set in stone. So only take this how it hits for you because we could be seeing your vibe or somebody else's. So let's get three cards out here from a beautiful Taurus friends, please. What's happening in mid July quick, very first shuffle. We have a card popping out and okay. So we're starting off with the moon. Okay. Whether it's surprising energy, unexpected, there is a sense of mystery whenever the moon decides to visit us. Not necessarily bad, but it's like, okay, let's get a couple more. Let's get a couple more. Okay, Empress, that's one of your cards here, but also very good, beautiful, and abundant. So I do like that so far. Let's get one more out here, and we'll piece it all together for you. Thank you. Okay, Five of Swords. Now that's the opposite. Okay, so we have a little bit of a mixed bag here, Taurus, and that's okay. Such is life, right? Usually in life, it's filled with ups and downs, and we kind of have that within the reading itself. So let's go through. I'll give you some of the classical meanings and archetypes, and we'll get into that juicy, intuitive stuff. So first look, first glance, there's a lot of internal energy here, again, which matches up with what we've been seeing here in the beginning, because we do have water. We do have some air, so that's the mind, the emotions, all internal stuff, and we have a card that could be representing you. We have two strong major arcana. These are powerful energies that are at play. 
So I want to really take a look and see how they're, they could be affecting this. Five of Swords could be good in regards to determination, but at the same time, that could be something we want to watch out for. So let's go through piece by piece and really start to build this out slowly because I feel like there's a lot of stuff that could be at play. So position number one, we do have the moon. Now, you might be connected to Pisces. I also linked this to the Cancer Collective because that's the ruling luminary. We are in the time of Cancer right now. Now, the moon card is a very subtle energy. It's intuitive, it's empathetic. So if you are an energetically sensitive individual, the fact that this is showing up could be telling you like, hey, you might be picking up a lot, on a lot more energy than you normally are. You might be more sensitive than you normally are. So whether you're feeling what others feel around you or you're just feeling a tenseness in the air or even good things, it could go the positive way too. I just feel kind of like a sponge to energy in this time whenever this shows up. It's psychic, it's intuitive, it's a very powerful a um, card about trusting your gut. So your intuition could get a spike in this time as well. Now, when I see the moon, it's my biggest card of mystery though. I already touched on that a little bit. So I think of the unexpected, the surprising, the secrets, the things that you didn't quite see coming. So this is gonna be a very important card for us to take a look at further. Okay? And it doesn't always have to be gloom and doom. It could be really good things too. But the fact that we are starting off with the moon, it's like, okay, something could pop up out of nowhere. Like, it's just very unexpected. Like, whoa, okay. Moving to the center, we have the Empress. Now, this is Venus energy, much more like it, my friends, because Taurus is ruled by Venus. It's a beautiful, abundant, pleasurable type of energy. It's comfy, it's cozy, and I really like it. Now, the Empress is the prototypical goddess figure. She represents abundance. The cups runneth over. She represents fertility, motherhood, mother figure. So she is that ultimate, ultimate goddess energy and she could represent nature itself. So for a lot of you, whether it's reconnecting in nature, for some of you, this could just be blessings and abundance coming your way. But since this is a Taurus reading and you are a Taurus, most likely, unless you're a cross watcher, this could tell us something that's coming towards you or a way you might be feeling. Libra is also ruled by Venus. So if you're connected to Libra, they could be showing up here as well. Um, that's the positive aspect of the Empress. But when we get into the challenge of her, sometimes it could be an energy that's a little smothery, right? Like it can be an energy that makes you feel a little cornered or it could be stubborn sometimes. So we'll see how it all plays out. Again, I'm feeling more positive than challenge. I feel like this is the silver lining of the reading so far, unless it's just telling us something that's coming towards you. Now, when we get to the back end, this is the card we're going to have to look out for because it's a little, it's a lot colder than the Empress, if I'm being straight up honest with you. We have the Five of Swords. Now, all fives in tarot do speak about upheaval. This card is pretty aggressive. You see that person, they just battled it out with those other people and they have all the swords. They're like, me, 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 I win. So for some of you, this could be a self-focus for in this time, some of you might just be focusing on what makes you happy and what you want to do, what your wishes are. And there's nothing wrong with that, but this can easily spike in the extreme opposite angle. This could be someone that is selfish sometimes, and it could be an individual that in its worst sense could be narcissistic. So watch out for any people that are too self-absorbed. But aside from that, this card is very aggressive and it could represent conflict, it could represent anger. We're not talking about sadness and depression here. This could be like a streak of anger or someone being mad when it's in the mix. Uh, in the positive again though, the Five of Swords could just be determination. So before I clarify it, I just always like to try to give everyone an overview that yeah, these cards, classically some of them could be rough some of them could be good but i want to dive deeper on all of them so let's do it let's jump in and clarify hopefully that's not another warning on the back end but yeah let's shuffle it up one time here for you taurus and yes this is where i go intuitive with the message which means i just tell you how it feels to me so feel free to do further research or rely on your base knowledge of tarot because as you know every single reading is about the reader's interpretation and i'm just giving you mine Let's go in on that moon. And yes, if you're a reader yourself, please feel free to play along. That's why the box is here. If you're feeling any messages you want to give to Taurus, you could drop it in the comments. I don't mind at all. Okay, moon time. Why is the moon here for my beautiful Taurus friends? Please. Quick, very quick. Okay, this feels very, very good. This feels really good to me. A very powerful, strong connection here when I have the Two of Cups. Now, for a lot of you, there could be a choice or a decision coming up for you. So just keep that in mind, um, especially with any two, because to me, twos, they represent 
crossroads, decisions, choices. So for some of you, there could be certain situations that are at a make or break point where it's like bubbling up and getting to a point where it's like, okay, I'm either going to have to do this or I'm going to have to do that one or the other. But the two of cups is a very beautiful, harmonious type of energy. So there is a very strong intuitive, emotional link between you and another individual here, whether you, I mean, if you're a scientifically minded person, you might not fully buy that. But if you're a spiritual in tune individual, you know what I'm talking about here. When we have that um, bond with somebody where it's like you think of them, they think of you, or it's like there's an energetic feedback here. So this is absolutely beautiful what I'm picking up here on the front end. So I feel like it could be two major things appearing here. When I have the two of cups, just know the feelings of a very particular person. I've been picking this up in all the earth signs this week about this sensitivity of feeling what's in the air, but I feel more so for Taurus. It's not like multiple people that you're feeling. It could be one person very much specifically. It's like in tune type of energy and you could be feeding off their energy they could be feeding off yours whether you realize it or you don't or you don't very strong um emotional and etheric bond here okay could be a soul tie for a big portion of you now i will also say though for some of you with the moon and two of cups there could be an unexpected choice or decision coming up okay like something could be building up to a make or break point let's keep moving forward again i don't necessarily feel like it's bad um, for some of you, it could just be that beautiful individual that you're connected to. So I really like it. So what's going on with the Empress here? What is happening? Now I get it. Now I get it a little more. Okay, so your intuition is going to be tugging at you in a lot of different ways. Um, for a portion of you, and I know I said all those great, beautiful things here on the front end, and we, I still want to lean into those because I still feel like it's true that there's a strong bond or connection with somebody. But when I see the moon with the two of cups, you might feel like someone you're connected to. Uh, I don't want to stir up trouble, but you might feel like somebody is not telling you the full honest truth, or you might feel like they're obscuring something, or you might feel like there's something you don't quite know, or there's something they're not quite sharing. And it's like your intuition could be telling you and telling you, it's like, I just, there, there's something they're not telling me. I don't know why this is coming out like this, Taurus. And I know it's hyper specific. This is more like a message I would get <clears throat> doing a personal reading, to be honest with you. Now, over here with the Ace of Cups in reverse underneath your card. Again, this vibration, this energy, although strong and powerful, if that intuition is pulling at you, it could really, really affect you in a lot of ways. Okay. And I feel you being much more sensitive to these um, external inputs than you normally are when this is here. So just keep that in mind. Now, all aces represent offers and opportunities, especially when they're in the upright. The ace of cups is love offers. It's uh, open communication, open dialogue. So when we see it in reverse, there could either be something that is being unsaid or something that is unsaid, someone you might not be talking to, or you feeling like somebody hasn't told you the full story. Okay, like that, I can't let go of that storyline. So just know, there could be something going on where you're like, all right, I don't know the full story or we don't know the full story for whatever reason. So let's keep moving forward. Like there's something more to this, but let's see. And for some of you, this might make zero sense, right? Like this could be something that comes up in a few days. You never know. But let's let's see what that five of swords is about. I really don't like when we start getting hyper specific in messages like that. But let's see what's up. Let, let's see what the five of swords has to say. And we'll do a recap here. Thank you. Yeah. All right. So here's this karmic, karmic energy showing up in a very powerful way. And I was picking us this up, I think, for the Leo reading as well. Like they had so much karmic energy. We have Lady Justice in reverse underneath this Five of Swords. So to me, this is somewhat like energy. I don't want to say deteriorating over time, but if like these energies up here are not addressed, I feel it going from like deteriorating from like being an annoyance to getting to anger. OK, now for some of you, there might be someone you're connected to where they're a bit of a, a live wire. They're a bit of a hothead. That's what I'm seeing here on the back end. So watch out for anybody that's extra temperamental in this time or someone that could literally be angry, upset, or mad. I kind of was saying that when this first showed up because that's a very aggressive card. And with Lady Justice in reverse, it's like this is imbalanced, okay? Um, watch out for individuals that overreact 
in this time as well, because with this anger, this mad person on the back end, they could be very prone to overreact. So I'm picking up a lot of things, although there's positives. I feel like I'm I'm stepping on eggshells as I'm going through this reading for some reason. So take that however it hits. But Lady Justice, I also want to tell you, she has a, a card of contracts, legal situation. So make sure anything you're doing, you're dotting the I's, you're crossing the T's. Um, it's a card of balance and decision. So we did already see possible choices there on the front end. When she is in the reverse, she is none of those things. She is imbalanced and she could also represent karma in general. Okay, so there could also be someone you feel like they've gotten away with certain things for too long. I mean, we're getting we're starting to pick up some really rough stuff here, Taurus. So again, if this doesn't hit for you, awesome. Um, you can watch your other alignments. But for those of you that this specific reading's hitting for, I mean, there's a lot of stuff that needs to be aired out and talked about when I see all this. Now, let's go through and do a quick recap, then we'll get into the shadow card. Because again, I feel like I'm tiptoeing through this reading and I was kind of, I don't want to say I was fooled in the beginning because I kind of loved this energy initially, but in position number one, before we get into the shadow, we have the moon with the two of cups. Now I did speak at length about you having a very strong emotional or energetic connection and bond with somebody, possible soul tie, soul connection here on the front, which makes sense. Um, aside from that, I do feel that there might be something culminating to a point of a decision where it's like, do I go left or do I go right? Time to make a choice type of energy. And I didn't notice it until we got to the next one over, but your intuition could be telling you that someone you're connected to, like there's something you don't quite know, or there's something that's pulling at your intuition. It's like, all right, well, I don't know the full story, or there's something they're not telling me, or there's a piece of information and I feel it, I feel it in the air. I don't know why it's coming through like that. Moving to the center, we have one of your cards with the Ace of Cups in reverse. And again, for a portion of you, maybe you're not speaking to someone or maybe there's some communication issues in this time. But when I see your card with the Ace of Cups in reverse, it's like mm, my, my intuition, it, this is bothering me. Something is bothering me. Like I feel a disturbance in the force. And like this whole area here kind of connects. That's just how it feels to me. Just know that those energies... If you can, if you ignore them, they're going to intensify. Moving to the back end, we do have the Five of Swords, very aggressive with the Lady Justice in reverse, very aggressive. Now, when I see this, it, to me, it does represent somebody that could be a bit of a live wire, someone that might have little temper issues possibly. So try to keep an arm's length from anyone like that. Um, this could be someone overreacting as well. So keep that in mind. There might be someone you're connected to where in a few days they, they might completely overreact over something very possible with what we see here. But again, if things have already happened, if things have already elapsed, this could be someone that's angry, upset, or mad right here. And it's imbalanced. And to me, I feel like I need to be cautious. So do with that information what you will, Taurus. Please take a screenshot. Let's see what's in the shadows for you. Very peculiar reading this week. So only take it how it hits for you. But let's see. What do we got for Taurus? And yes, I always like to pull one shadow card at the very end just to see whether it's something within you or something you don't quite see. Shadow cards don't always have to be a challenge. They could be a good thing. So let's get you one. And yes, if you're, if you made it to this point in the reading, please feel free to check out channel memberships. I'll put a link for it in the comments below. It's a beautiful way to support the channel. I have much love for all my channel members. It's like this this spread keeps pulling my attention to it, even while I'm shuffling to pull out a shadow card. Very bizarre. I might even look into this spread a little further after, after I'm done filming. Let's see. Thank you. <clears throat> okay, we do have the tower, so a very intense energy could be building up again, kind of like with what I was seeing here on the front end. Now the tower. Very common card to see within the shadows. For some of you, this could just represent your energy building up or something, a situation that's been building up, building up, building up until a, an explosive point. That could be very possible whenever the tower is in the mix. Um, to me, it is one of the cards of vitality, but it's also a card of change. So whether you are healing from a recent tower moment where there has been a shock or there has been a shakeup, it's understandable because we all process these things in different ways and on different timetables. Okay. Um, do I feel like a big tower moment's imminent for you? I'm not going to say that when this shows up in the shadows. Um, I do feel like you have positioned yourself to be prepared. I don't know why that's coming up or why it's here, but I feel like you've positioned yourself to be very well prepared for all eventualities. Bizarre messages this week, Taurus. So please, my friends, 
Um, that's what I have for you this week. Don't click away just yet, though. I'm going to give you the details of the July subscriber surprise. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, you can check out my digital calendar at my website, mastermetaphysics.com. The link is down below. But for the July subscriber surprise, giving away two copies of another one of my favorite decks, The Wizard's Tarot. Absolutely beautiful and works great. So if you'd like to get your name in for this, it's two simple things. As always, my friends, first, you must be subscribed. And second, since I have the travel bug lately, let me know down in the comments what is the most beautiful place you visited in person. You'll be entered to win, and at the end of the month, the winners will be announced in my community tab. As always, my friends, much love, and I'll see you soon.